Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM on the 11th night of 31 Days of Oscar. Our lineup tonight is made up of Oscar-winning musicals. For 1951, the nominees for Best Picture were Quo Vadis, Decision Before Dawn, Place in the Sun, A Streetcar Named Desire, and The Winner, which is our first feature from MGM in 1951, directed by Vincent Minnelli, Gene Kelly, and Leslie Caron, star in An American in Paris. The setup has Kelly as an American GI who stays in Paris after the war so he can paint. He falls in love with a sweet young French woman, but it's complicated. He just became pals with a French singer who's in love with the same woman. That's Caron. The film is full of music by George and Ira Gershwin. That's really the genesis of the picture. MGM producer Arthur Freed, a songwriter himself who ran MGM's prestigious musical unit, went to see a celebration of George Gershwin music at the Hollywood Bowl. He fell in love with an orchestral piece called An American in Paris. Liked it so much, he purchased the screen rights to the title along with the Gershwin music catalog. Freed then hired Alan J. Lerner to write a screenplay that would tie all the songs together. As for Freed's talent as a songwriter, just watch Singing in the Rain. That musical, including the title tune, is largely a catalog of songs co-written by Freed and his songwriting partner in the late 1920s and early 30s, Nasio Herb Brown. Caron was a newcomer to film. She was a Parisian ballerina, a good one, too. Jean Kelly and his wife discovered Caron, then 19, when they were on vacation in Paris a couple of years earlier. Kelly pushed hard to end the film with an original 17-minute ballet free of dialogue came at enormous cost, close to half a million dollars, just for the ballet, a staggering sum in 1951. As you'll see, it was worth the cost. In the book, Hollywood, The Oral History, by Janine Basinger and Sam Wasson, director Vincent Minnelli was quoted as saying, MGM had the very best designers and musicians and special effects men and the very best cinematographers. This musical is proof of that. Minnelli earned an Oscar nomination for Best Director, and producer Arthur Freed won the Academy Award for Best Picture. From 1951, also with wonderful supporting performances from Oscar Levant and Nina Fosh, an American in Paris. The 1948 Michael Powell Emmerich Pressburger classic The Red Shoes had a profound impact on Gene Kelly, the star of An American in Paris. The innovative Red Shoes ballet inspired him to push for the ballet sequence at the end of An American in Paris. The movie ballets have something in common. Robert Helpman acted in The Red Shoes, and he was Moira Shear's main dance partner in the ballet of The Red Shoes. Helpman also choreographed that ballet number. Gene Kelly acted in An American in Paris. He's Leslie Caron's main dance partner in the ballet sequence, and Kelly choreographed that number. For his contributions to the picture, the Academy awarded Kelly an honorary Oscar, quote, in appreciation of his versatility as an actor, singer, director, and dancer, and specifically for his brilliant achievements in the art of choreography on film. Coming up, the Oscar winner for Best Picture of 1961, West Side Story, is next. 31 Days of Oscar continues on Turner Classic Movies.